Hey everyone, the artificial trainer here. Welcome in, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna talk about a completely neglected topic since models like Context, Nano Banana, all of these came out. And that topic is in painting. This used to be key in all sorts of workflows and it kind of got forgotten about when Nano Banana came out, but I think it's still extremely important for specific tasks. And we're gonna go over when to use it, why you should use it, and why you shouldn't always just rely on something like Nano Banana or Context to do your image edits. So first things first, install ComfyUI. If you don't have it installed, I have a video on it. If you go back to my channel, um, you can run it on RunPod, you can run it on Windows, you can run it on Linux. So um, just pick your specific application, we'll get you up and running. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button below for more AI content. I have plenty of this content coming all the time. You don't wanna miss any news as this stuff is evolving rapidly. After you have Comfy installed, come back here, head to the description, head to the model downloads and grab all the models out of there. They're all links that take you directly to the download. So these are all the models that you'll need. It's the same thing in the description below. And we'll just go through 101. I'll show you them in my Comfy UI folder and then we'll get into the workflow. All right, so here is my CompUI folder and they all say to go to the models folder. So we'll go to the models folder. And then the first one here is diffusion models. So we go to diffusion models and you can see my Quen image file right there. And then next one is text encoders. You can see my text encoders right here, VAE. right there and then the last one is the control net folder if you haven't used control nets if you're kind of new to comfy just create a control net folder if it's not there already and then you just download this url it'll download as this diffusion pytorch model .safe tenters. rename it to what i have in the description down there and then you'll be good to go that's it for the workflow all right and then you can head to my patreon post and grab the workflow drag that right in okay so i also included uh, i think like three different assets for you to try along with me so the first one is going to be a like a mural kind of so it's a mural of these animals and i want to take this guy up in the top right and change him into a mouse in the same style so i tried it in Man nano banana first and i said change the brown spotted animal in the top right to a mouse it didn't do anything it changed that one into a mouse but that's not the one I wanted to be changed into a mouse right I want this brown spotted one it changed this like I don't know aardvark looking one so that's one of the use cases that is that when the image is complex nano banana is going to struggle because it, it needs to use words to locate what you're trying to edit and this one, it's too difficult to describe with words. It's kind of abstract. So we need to mask it to be able to provide very specific feedback. All right, so you can click the click on the load image and then hit this little pencil, or you can right click and hit open in mask editor. I'm gonna click the pencil. And then all we're gonna do is color over this animal. Okay, and then save it. And when you see, do that, you'll see we have our mask here, which is, it's now blocking out some of the image. Okay, and then I've found that 0.8 strength tends to work well for me. When I was doing one, it would adhere a little too closely to the original image, but it actually, at one, it does handle the composition and the coloring better. So try, try around with different strengths between like 0.7 and one and see how it works best for you. And then I am using the Quen Image Edit Lightning Laura as well. I'll include that model in the description below too. You may get better results without the lightning Laura, in which case you can bypass it and then CFG should be 2.5 and steps should be 20. But I am going to use the lightning Laura here just for the sake of time so this video doesn't take forever to film. Um, I've had actually pretty similar results with and without the lightning Laura. All right, so we got our mouse mask and then now we just need to say a colorful animal mural painting with a gray mouse with big pink ears and whiskers and we'll run it okay and there you go there's our mouse with big ears 
and it blends into the style pretty nicely. You know, it might be a little bit warped, but the rest of the image is kind of warped as well. And I did change the scheduler to Keras. I, you can play around with the schedulers. Keras, I just noticed sometimes when you generate, at first it looks like what you want, but then as the generation continues, the likeness drops off and Keras drops the noise off quickly. So I figured if I drop the noise off quicker, then it'll retain that image that I liked and not generate something new by keeping the noise high for a long time. All right, so you can see that gives us the exact edit we were looking for, whereas, you know, Nano Banana is kind of just shooting in the dark. You'd have to try to figure out a way to prompt for that specific animal, and then even then, it might not be able to figure out which animal it is. All right, so the next asset I have is this group of people smiling. And so I generated one where I asked for the woman's hair to turn green. And it did turn her hair green, but it also made her look way different. You can see her bottom teeth here. Yeah, it just didn't really maintain her likeness at all. So that is something that Quinn can do for us really easily because we're, we're going to tell it to only change her hair. So it's not going to change anything else other than what we put in our mask. That's why the mask is so key. All right, um, and I want to add a little bit more mask on the left side here. I missed a little bit of the hair. Just make sure we have all of it covered. All right, so that should give us a pretty decent generation. So let's just say a group of five people. The woman in the back middle has green hair. And important to note when you're prompting, prompt for the whole image and then just get really specific about the one thing you want to change. If you try to just prompt for the person that you want to change or the specific thing you want to change, like context would or something like that, it doesn't work too well. All right, so we got green hair there. Now, it's still, it blended a little bit into brown hair. So maybe we want to say like has bright green hair just to give it a little bit more weight on the hair. All right, so it brightened the hair up. It's still a little bit brown on the bottom here. You know, maybe if I expand the mask a little bit, that might help. So we got a much wider mask here now. And there you go. Now it's just the hair affected, her face isn't affected at all. The people around her aren't affected at all. You just get the hair changing, which Nano Banana can't do. All right, and then we have our last image here. I wanted to add some birds in the background, maintaining the bokeh focus, but you can see um, kind of a weird generation. These birds don't look very natural. So we need to tell it where to put the birds. All right, so same thing. We're gonna click on that pencil and let's add some areas of birds. So I'm gonna say a woman taking a selfie, a lake, birds are flying in the background, bokeh focus. So I wasn't quite getting the birds I wanted, I'm just gonna make the masks a little bit bigger. Flying in the sky. All right, so there you go. Great, great generation to maintain the focus on the birds and everything. So I definitely prefer that generation over this one that Nana Banana gave us, right? These look like, I don't know, they're all different sizes and they're not really flying naturally versus here we were actually able to like place the birds where we wanted to. And I would flip between Keras and Beta for your scheduler. And then you can also just adjust the seed. You know, if, if it's almost right, but not quite there, just adjust the seed. Reminder, I am using the lightning Laura here, if you want even better results, bypass the lightning Laura and use at least 20 steps, maybe even more than that, and a CFG of 2.5. All right, so really awesome model. Hopefully you get a lot of value out of using this. Again, Nano Banana has its place. If you want to change a lot about, a, about an image, it's awesome for that. But if you need to do very specific edits in very specific spots, this is the model for you. If you need to do clean plates, anything like that, for example, right at the beginning, I started off with, at the beginning of the video, I showed uh, starting off with this image and then going all the way to this image. So that was done with Quen edit and, you know, maybe Nano Banana could do it, but imagine if I just wanted to remove the garbage, you know, if I just wanted to remove the garbage, that's the type of things that in painting is really good for. All right, so try it out. Let me know what you think in the comments. 
head of the Discord, show me what you're doing with Quen. It really helps me when I see what people are using this stuff for. It helps me tailor my content even better. Appreciate you watching this video, and I'll talk to you in the next one.